I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. We're going to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand in random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have a pair of flowers, almost news. We have three red dragons, one, two, three, four in cracks, pairs of ones and threes. In bams, we have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of ones and sevens. In dots, we have two, three, four, six pair of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I think I would play the 2468 pair hand and then I would maybe play like numbers with ones, with dragons or news. We could do like numbers with threes or ones. One, three. We might be able to do one, three, one, three, five concealed. I think I would keep the five. I think I would keep little odds. Maybe play like numbers with ones or threes and dragons. We're gonna need either the green dragon or the white dragon to make that work, or we can just play one, three, five. If we get five cracks, we could even do one, three, five with dragons. So I think that's what I would do. And then down here, play two, four, six, eight, pair hand. We have twos and fours but I would hold all of them until we run out of discards. If you would do something different, right? Pull one and what you would do with these tiles. One thing I was thinking is we could do two, four, six, eight dragon if we get a white dragon and then focus on little odds up there. I think that's what I would do here. We have a couple of jokers, flowers, east, west, south, pair of east. In cracks, or here we have a white dragon, then in cracks we have three, four, five, six, seven, nine singles. Bams, two, four, six, seven, eight singles. In dots, one, four, six, seven, eight, nine pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would either play 
a year hand, maybe east and west with the year, or east and west with fours. And then down here, six, seven, eight consecutive run. We have all singles, so I would just gather until we built up a multiple. We do have seven, seven, nine, seven, nine, maybe keep the five, because we could maybe do five, seven, nine, big odds. So we have three, four hands going, potential year hand with east and west, potential east west with fours under winds and dragons then here six seven eight nine consecutive run or big odds since we have all singles i would wait before i made a decision i would gather and then when we built a multiple in here build around the multiples so i would just have to take it pick by pick we have one discard before we have to make any decisions Let's see, we have seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we have a few hands where there are no gaps. For example, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, but the multiples are just not there to make a decision. We could also do five, six, seven, eight. We could do six, seven, eight, nine. We could do six, seven, six, seven. Let's see, six, seven, six, seven, eight. So I would just keep them all, see what builds. If you would do something differently, write, pull two in the comment section below and what you would do with these tiles. Okay, we have a Joker, pair of flowers, pair of Norse, white dragon. In cracks, we have one, two, four, six, seven, eight, pair of ones and eights. In dots, we have one, two, three, four, six, eight. We have a pair of twos and a pung of fours. In bams, we have two, four, five, six, seven. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a year hand and two, four, six, eight in two suits. Two, four, six, eight. That could even be pure if we do it right. Because we could Pung, Kong, Pung or Kong, and then maybe try to do this with minimal jokers so that it could whittle down to pure. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play a pair hand, two, four, six, eight pair hand. We have two, four, six, eight, and then we could either do pairs of four, sixes, or even eights, because we have a pair there too. So I think I would hold all two, four, six, eight down here. See what comes in. The challenge is we're using twos up here. If we did a year hand up here, Let's see, we would do, for example, flowers two, zero, two, one, two, one. That would be the very first hand and that would leverage this multiple. So I would hold twos for that. So that makes a, like, a, that makes a two, four, six, eight hand a bit of a challenge down here. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play a quint 
north four dra uh, flowers, but that would deplete the two, four, six, eight hand. So I don't think I would do a quint here unless we used the ones and then use the twos down here for maybe two, four, six, eight pair hand. The challenge with that is that we're going to be using flowers with a quint here. So I would want to play a hand down here that doesn't use flowers. So I would stay concealed and just gather and see what comes in. So I think a year hand might work up here and then two, four, six, eight. That way we're not battling for twos and flowers. And we really don't have to make a decision until we get rid of these discards. I would just gather and see what, what comes in. I do see something here we could do. One, two, three. One, two, three if the year tiles don't come in and discard those. And that would allow this to be used down here, maybe for a two, four, six, eight pair hand. So I think that's what I would do. I would hold this, just see what happens. It's very challenging. If you would do something differently with these tiles, right, pull three and what you would do. When you play Siamese Mahjong, you have a lot of tiles to work with. I've noticed a couple of ways people play this game. Some people like to play one hand at a time. Some people like to play both hands concurrently. Either way, look for the strength of the hand or hands, if you play two hands concurrently, build around the strength. The strength are going to be either multiples or predominant pattern. You can really make just about anything work if you make the right decisions at the right time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.